as me and Abraham are having the road trip of a lifetime. Yeah. What are the, what's the Neverlands like, Abraham? Magic. <laughs> you need to get yourself to the Neverlands. Yeah. You need to get away from Amsterdam, even though Amsterdam's great, but go and see all the cities, meet all the beautiful people, and indulge in all the culture. Today we are here in a forest in the Neverlands, and a forest in the Neverlands looks like a forest anywhere in the world. Didn't it, Abraham? Yeah. Look at this beautiful forest. Yeah. And guess what? I found out today that I am on BBC One on 7.30 p.m. on prime time. 7.30 p.m. BBC One. I am on it Monday coming. Yes, this Monday coming. So guess what? Not the 20th Friday, not the 21st Saturday, not the 22nd Sunday. We're talking the 23rd of September, 7.30 p.m., I am on BBC One for my latest television outing. I have been on the BBC three times now. I first was on the BBC in the year 1991, and they followed me for a year, the BBC, and three other people, and they followed me leaving school, doing my exams, and then the jobs I went into. That was the first programme I did with the BBC. Then I did a programme with them called Victoria Derbyshire, and that was featuring me helping uh, aid in the, in the man in the shed. And then I was on BBC News for, like... Um, the United Nations coming to Jaywick, so that's third, three times, and this will be the fourth time actually. This program is called Inside Out. There was a man called Lawrence who's a photographer and he works for the BBC, and he saw the great work that I'm doing in Jaywick, and he felt the world needs to see what I'm doing. There's so many people that don't really know what's going on. That the Inside Out is a program that captures community groups and what they really do, and it's big enough to be on BBC One prime time. So I really, really am very proud. And I've got people that help me very much. And I've mentioned all of them in the programme. We've got Donna, our secretary. We've got Jill, our treasurer. And we've got Dan Casey, our vice chairman. But at the end of the day, when it was created, the Joe Its Own Happy Club, it was 2015. And it was around November. And I was working with Channel 5 on a programme called Benefits by the Sea Jaywick. And I'd already, already done six episodes with them. And they come back to me and said, would I do another six episodes and a Christmas special? I said to them, only if I can create something that I can carry on doing once the, the TV filming stops. They said to me, what did I want to do? I said, I would like to create a youth club for adults. The Jaywick Sounds Happy Club. It is totally my idea. I am the person that invented the Jaywick Sounds Happy Club. It's my idea that I told Channel 5 and they helped me set it up. But it was all my idea. And then as time went on, about a, six months to a year later, I got other people to get on board and help me. But at the beginning, it was all just me. And um, I would never give up. And I said to Channel 5 that once you go and the filming stops, I will fund it myself. And I did fund it myself. I paid for, to hire the church. I paid to get the teas and coffees. I did all this myself. People might forget that, but this is the reality of the J. Witt Sounds Happy Club. This is my creation, and I will never, ever give up the J. Witt Sounds Happy Club. And guess what? We are now on BBC One. We first of all was on Channel 5, and now we're on BBC One. And I only created it four years ago. I would say, Abraham, that is a great achievement. Yeah. What would you say, Abraham, to my progress and what I've done? Yeah, you've done very good. Do you think people you help, appreciate... You are, yeah, you're helping people regardless if they appreciate or not. Yes, and I do thank all the people that helped me. But remember, I started this by myself in the beginning and then I got a bit of help later on, which I'm grateful for. But listen, the Joe It Sounds Happy Club will always be the Joe It Sounds Happy Club. And everything that goes on in life always has a creator. And ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the creator of the Joe It Sounds Happy Club. How does it feel to meet a real star? <laughs> Abraham, you always knew I was a star. Yep. Do you think people should appreciate me? Yeah. It don't matter if you don't, because it just makes me more determined to make things come true. Anyway, enough about me. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on BBC One, 7.30pm, Monday the 23rd of September at 7.30pm. Please tune in and watch this amazing show. I haven't seen it yet. But I know Lawrence, the creator of this great show, and the BBC will do me justice. Because at the end of the day, how can, they make, how can anyone not see what the great I'm doing? And guess what? We will never give up shining on. And uh, I can't wait to see you all on BBC One at 7.30pm this Monday, the 23rd of September, to see my creation on telly. And guess what? The Jobit Sounds Happy Club, 
I created it and I will never stop it. I will be doing the Joe Witt Sands Happy Club till I die. And then I might give someone else the power to carry it on. But until I die, no one will have the power to take it over because it's mine. And I love you, Jay Wick. And this is what I'm giving to you. And I give you the Jay Wick Sounds Happy Club. I give you Jay Wick's Got Talent. And I give you Danny Sluggett Vision. And I even give you Abraham. <laughs> so I hope you appreciate all the things that I give you. And I'll see you on BBC One for a programme called Inside Out at 7.30 prime time. Shine on you beautiful people. Can I just say a big thank you to everybody that has supported me. And to all the people that doubt me, there's a word for you shine off <laughs> and to all the people that believe in me shine on shine on I'll see you on BBC One everybody at prime time at 7.30pm shine on